Hello everyone, my name is Cedric May and I'm going to show you how to turn a plain text document into an ebook. Now this is a very basic tutorial on how to use a piece of software called Calibre to make this transformation from plain text file to ebook. And along the way I'm also going to show you how to add a book cover to your ebook that'll show up. Now the first thing you'll need to do is uh, is get all of the files that you want to work with in one easy location, one location that's easy to find. Uh, I like to put everything on my desktop. So here is uh, what I have here is the works of Edgar Allan Poe that I downloaded from Project Gutenberg as a plain text file. And I also have an image that I want to use as my book cover. It's just a regular JPEG image. The next thing that you're, you're going to want to do is go to the Caliber website, and that's caliber-ebook.com, or you can just Google the word Caliber. Go to the Caliber website and download a copy of the software for whichever platform is appropriate for you. In my case, it's OS X. Once you have the software downloaded and installed on your computer, go ahead and start it up, and you'll see an interface that looks like this. The easiest way to import your text file into Caliber for the conversion is to drag and drop your plain text file into the main window. Another way to get your file into the window, if it just it, if it happens to be in uh, another location, is to go to the tab Add Books, Add from a Single Directory navigate to wherever your book happens to be, highlight the title, and then open it. Now make sure that your, uh, the title of your book is, uh, is highlighted and you'll see that under formats, under formats you'll see TXT. That's telling you that the only type of the only type of file that you have for this title is a plain text file. We're going to go ahead and go through the process of converting it. Go over to the convert books tab and convert book individually. You'll get this interface and you'll see and where you can change the title if you need to or you can add the name of the author and you'll notice that it automatically inverts the name for search purposes. You can add publisher, you can add any tags that will help you to find your book once you start to collect a really large uh, a library of books within uh, Caliber because Caliber is a good place to is a good piece of software to store your books in uh, and the name of any series your book might might happen to be a part of. Uh, we're not going to do anything with the rest of these tabs over here. These are more advanced features that you can use to manipulate the look and feel of your book, but we're just going to stick with the regular default settings. Now over here, you're going to make sure that your input format is text, just like your text file, and then you can go over to here and choose the output format that you want that will ultimately be transferred to your ebook reader. And in my case, I'm going to use the EPUB output. You could also make it a Mobi file, uh, the output of Mobi file if you're going to be reading on a Kindle or even a PDF file or any other type of, uh, of format that's available on the drop-down menu. For me it's EPUB. Once, you, once everything is the way you want it to be, go ahead and click OK. You'll see that a little uh, that, that there's a little uh, circle going around here telling you that something is going on, the conversion is taking place. If you click on that you'll get a progress window. Now the progress window is going to tell you how much time it takes to actually make the conversion. And in most cases it takes about 30 seconds to as much as two minutes to create, or two or three minutes to create, do the conversion from plain text file to ebook. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and wait for this conversion to be made. Almost there. Very good. It took us 44 seconds to convert from plain text to ebook. Click out of this. And now, when you go over to the formats, uh, uh, the highlighted format section, you'll notice that not only do you have a text file stored in Caliber, but you also have an EPUB format that has been generated. Click on the EPUB link, and what will happen is you will get a window showing you 
what the book is going to look like. And here you can see that the book has its has uh, you know a generic works of Edgar Allan Poe cover. You can use the arrows here to flip through your pages and take a look at how things have turned out. Very good so far. And now we're into the actual text of the book. You can also scroll to read your book. And if you go over here, let's say you don't like the Helvetica font, if you go over here to the preferences where you see these little gears, you can click on those gears and uh, you'll get a window that allows you to change the font to whatever it is that you would, uh, to whatever font you would like to see your ebook in. Let's go Hobo, click OK, and now the font has changed. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and change it back to Helvetica for the time being. Oops. But you can change your font that way. Now, uh, you can also change the size of the font if you're going to be using Calibred as your actual ebook reader. And then once you've taken a look at everything and you're satisfied, you can click out of here. Now, we don't have a good cover yet, so what you can do is make sure that your ebook is highlighted. Go over to the Edit Metadata tab, click on that, and you'll get this window. Go over to your image that's on your desktop or wherever it is and drag and drop your image into this window. Once you've dragged and dropped it there, you go right over to here and click on OK. And now your ebook will have a cover that looks like so. Now the next step uh, we're going to take is I'm going to show you how to take this EPUB file or whichever type of file that you have and we're going to convert it into yet another format so let's convert books. Let's make the input format. Let's, uh, let's keep it as text, but let's make it a Mobi file this time. Click OK. Go down to where the jobs uh, interface is, and you'll see that it's converting. And we'll wait for however many seconds it takes to do the full conversion. And I want to show you this because I want to show you that uh, you can convert to many different formats and have them stored in Calibre and ready to go for when you're ready to transport it over to your ebook reader. Okay, and this will take a little bit of time. Okay, it looks like we're getting there, almost there. seconds. This one's taking a little longer. There we go. Now we have our mode click out of this window and you'll see that now we have uh, Caliber has uh, stored the works of Edgar Allan Poe as a text file, as a Mobi file, and as an EPUB file. We open the Mobi file We'll see that our cover is there and that we can flip the pages and read our ebook. Now, the last step in the tutorial is to take your ebook and download it to your desktop. Go over to Save to Disk, click on Save to Disk. You want it to be on your desktop and just go ahead and choose to Open or To Go. And now you're going to have, click out of that, open up the file that's generated, and inside that file will be the works of Edgar Allan Poe as an EPUB file, which I'll drag and drop to my desktop, as a Mobi file that I'll drag and drop to my desktop, 
And uh, also there's the uh, text file and any other extra files that were used in generating the ebook file. But the only thing that you're going to need, and I'll just throw this away now, the only thing you need for your ebook readers usually is going to be either the EPUB file or the MOBI file. Drag those to your desktop or whatever location you want to store these files, and now you're going to be able to email these files to yourself, to your ebook reader, uh, or otherwise transport them into your ebook reader by whatever method is appropriate for your device. And that's all you have to do in order to change a plain text file into an ebook that has a cover. Thank you, and uh, the, next, uh, uh, the next tutorial will be a little bit more advanced, and what we'll do is, is we'll talk about formatting text for your ebook reader. Thank you very much.